God. And when you say prayers, you talk to God. Is there anything else you should do in prayers? What about we should listen to God as well, shouldn't we? So how many of you are very good at talking? <laughs> wow. You're a chatterbox. Excellent. You always talk. That's good. That's a very precious gift, isn't it? So now, how many of you are very good at listening? You all are, are you? That's good. Now, when we listen to God, God doesn't talk to our ears, does he? He talks to our heart. So what we have to do is use our ears when we're listening to other people. We use them to learn how to use our heart. We listen with our ears to learn how to listen with our heart. So what do you think we need? Does God have a really big voice or does God have a very quiet voice? He has a quiet voice, doesn't he? So if you're going to listen to somebody who has a quiet voice, what does it help to have around you? It's important to be. Why is this? We need peace. Well done, Barry. We need peace and quiet to stop and listen. So, when you're next saying your prayers, <coughs> which is going to be in a minute, and you said all your bits, what we're then going to do is take a moment to quietly listen. What do you think? Yeah? Now, I believe you've got a prayer already, and I'm going to have to give you a microphone. I'll just switch myself off for a moment. Today we are saying goodbye to Father Martin. We thank you for all the times we have shared with him and the special ways he has taught us to love you. We are sad he is leaving us, but we will never forget him and we ask you to keep him safe now and forever. Amen. Well, thank you very much for that. Thank you very much. We'll see you later.